accidents happen. They happen everywhere. Even though homes are planned to be safe, accidents do happen there. Streets are as safe as possible. For example, when this car gets to the corner, it's supposed to stop so that this car can drive right on through. But accidents happen. Schools, too, are planned to be safe. But accidents happen here, too, sometimes. Not all the time, though. There are no accidents happening at the school now. No accidents on the stairs, or in the classrooms, or in the gym. And why not? There are no people at the school. And no people, no accidents. The building itself was designed to be as safe as possible. The halls are wide and clear. Doors are built so that they don't swing into the hall where people might bump into them. Locker door handles are smooth so people won't catch themselves or their clothing on them. The water fountain has no sharp edges. Corners have been rounded too. There are fire alarm boxes to call for help in an emergency, and signs to help people get quickly out of the building. Safety glass has wire in it to keep it from shattering if it gets broken. Doors to the outside have special handles to make them easy to open in case of a fire. Even fire extinguishers have been built into the walls. The people who planned and built this school designed a safe building. But of course, they didn't design the people. And people cause most of the accidents. George wasn't looking where he was going. But Mike helped cause the accident too. He wasn't looking where he was going either. Busy hallways are like busy streets. That's why the system for keeping to the right was worked out. When everyone stays on the right side, traffic can move in two directions at the same time with no head-on collisions. But that will only prevent some kinds of accidents. These people obviously aren't looking where they're going. And you guessed it. An accident like this could have been serious. It's people who cause most accidents. People who aren't thinking about where they're going, who aren't following the rules, who don't take the responsibility for preventing accidents. Accidents also happen in some places more than others. Take stairs. Even when everyone is using them correctly, accidents happen. In this case, George didn't get hurt, because he was holding the handrail. People who are looking out for themselves have fewer serious accidents. And stairs are particularly dangerous. But even looking out for yourself can't prevent every accident. Other people have to be looking out for us too. If Danny hadn't been running around that corner when Susan came up the stairs, Danny could have stopped in time. Or better still, when Susan got to the top of the stairs, Danny should have been on the right side, where he was supposed to be. That's why this kind of behavior is unsafe. That's why everyone keeps to the right, for it's people who cause most accidents. Each person is responsible not only for seeing that accidents don't happen to himself, but that they don't happen to anyone else either. There are many ways to hurt others accidentally. George is trying to do the right thing. He's covering the floor 
so he won't get paint on it. But he's also covering the hammer, not realizing that this could cause an accident. This time, we've hurt someone else. This time, we may hurt ourselves. Now, two people are going to cause an accident. The boy, by forgetting to keep his feet out of the aisle. The girl, by not looking to see what's ahead of her. It's people who cause most accidents. The faster they're moving, the greater the chances for accidents. And there are ways to increase the chances for accidents. Here's one way. Here's another, losing your temper. Time out for a moment while we straighten out some of these things. Let's get that shoelace tied. And let's count to 10 and relax. That's better. Now the game can resume with a little less chance of an accident. But people are still moving fast. That means each person must be especially alert, especially careful not to run into anyone else. Everyone must understand the rules of the game he's playing and follow them. Each student is responsible for trying to make the school a safe place. Safety isn't just the coach's responsibility. And when an accident does happen, we do something about it. If we know what caused the accident, we report it to someone. That way, the damage can not only be fixed here, but it also can be fixed here, and perhaps the next accident avoided. Accidents happen. They can happen anywhere and to anybody. But they happen less often when people are thinking about what they're doing. Remember to look where you're walking. Remember not to run. Remember to stay on the right side of the stairs. And remember to keep a hand on the rail. You're responsible for your own safety and the safety of others. School is almost over now, and you've all done a lot of important things today. You're leaving school with a little more understanding of science and history and English and mathematics. And you've done something else you've all got through the day safely. Well, almost all of you. And tomorrow, you'll be able to return to that school that's just as safe as you and your friends make it.